Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer and today we're going to be looking at the Redact tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Let's check this out. So first option is the mark for redaction tool. Now before I go on, the emphasis is on the word mark. This marks for redaction, but it does not perform the redaction. The redaction will only take place after you click apply over here. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's redact some stuff. So we have three options here. We can redact text and images, entire pages, or find text. So first things first, the mark for redaction by text and images, it's just a simple click and drag tool. So you just do this, mouse over. Now note when you mouse over, this is what it's going to look like. And as you might expect for a redaction tool, it's going to look pretty black. But because we've only marked it, it has that red border around it. So that's just reminding us that, hey, you haven't redacted this yet. So that's that. That's how we do that. And to apply a redaction, we click this. And so it's saying that you're about to permanently remove all the content. Once the document saved, this operation cannot be undone. You sure you want to continue? Yep. And on the left-hand side, it's just showing all the metadata and hidden information that is associated with this text, and it is removing it from the document. So for instance, if the title of the uh, document was Meridian, and Meridian is included if in this in this thing, section that we redacted, then it would get rid of that title. Now, moving on. So we can also mark entire pages for redaction. So we're just gonna, we can select a page range or we can just mark the current page. Pretty simple. We can then apply that. And same thing as before, it's gonna remove the hidden information relating to this page. And now we've redacted it. Lastly, we can mark by finding text. So we have this little search window over here. So we can, it asks where, where we'd like to search in the current document. And we can search by a single word or phrase, multiple words or phrases, or by patterns. So for patterns, you can redact all the phone numbers, credit cards, social security numbers, emails, dates. For multiple words or phrases, you can add phrases or words to a list, or you can import a list if you'd like, and then click OK. Or we're just going to redact by a single word or phrase, which is the name of the company, Meridian Inc. And then we can search the whole document for it. And we found 31 instances of Meridian. And so you can click around throughout the document to see every single instance in case you want to save one or two of them. But uh, we do not in our case. So we're just going to check them all and mark them all. So we can mark our check results for redaction. So now every single Meridian Inc. is marked for redaction. And once we click apply, they will now be redacted. OK. That's that. Now for properties. So the properties menu, this is just affecting the the uh, visual, like aesthetic, the aesthetics of the redaction. So you can change like the, the outline color of the marks for redaction, the opacity, stuff like that, and the text. Uh, removing hidden information. So that, so as with the protect tool, any metadata will be removed from the document. And we've kind of already been doing that as we redact. And lastly, we have the option to sanitize the document, which is a more extensive version of the removing of hidden information. So this is everything that it will remove, which is quite extensive. And so we have the option to begin the sanitization process. And there we go. So now the document is sanitized, so a lot of the excess information has been removed. And that's all there is to it for the redaction tool. Thanks for coming, everybody. And next time, we'll be covering the PDF standards tool. But until then, take care.